Hi boys and girls! Before we get started with our next activity, I would just like to remind you that tomorrow, Thursday, April 16th, at 9 a.m., we are meeting for a Zoom meeting. So we're all going to be able to see um, each other, and you'll be able to see me live, and I'll be able to see you, and we will meet on the Zoom app, okay? Okay, so now that I reminded you guys about Zoom tomorrow at 9 a.m., let's get started with our next activity. This more earlier this morning, we um, did a number scavenger hunt. Well, now we're going to shift our focus away from numbers and on to letters, okay? So, I have some paint here that I put onto a plate. I have blue, white, and black. See? Blue, white, and black. But here, I meant, well, I have blue and white. And, I'm, and what we're going to do with these colors is use a Q-tip to write them. So I used my highlighter to write letters. And we're going to trace them with paint and Q-tips. So the colors that I used are red, I'm sorry, not red, <laughs> blue, black, and white. And since I only have three colors, I decided that I'm going to create a light blue color. Now, if you want to create a lighter color, what you do is mix that color with white. So here I have blue and white. I'm going to mix them together so that I don't just have dark blue, white, and black, but I'm also going to have a light blue color. Let's mix and see what happens. So I'm mixing the white and the dark blue together. And look, the color that's appearing is light blue, or a lighter blue than this dark blue over here. So never forget that if you mix a color with white, you'll get a lighter version of that color. So now instead of having only three colors, now I have four. I have light blue, dark blue, black, and white. And if you want the color to be even lighter, the only thing you have to do is add even more white. So that's a pretty light blue, but I would like the light blue to be even lighter. So I mix even more white. And now it almost looks like a beautiful sky blue. Like you know how the sky looks when it's not very cloudy and it's not rainy, rainy. The sky looks like light blue, almost like this color. Okay. So now that I have my four colors, and my Q-tips, and my letters, written in highlighter, I am going to begin tracing. So the, no the, the letters that I would like to trace first, I call our frog jump letters. Do you see my frog at the bottom? So these letters are frog jump letters because like the other letters, you start at the top, right? We always start our letters at the top. But for these letters, you, do, you draw your big line down, right? So if we're drawing the letter F, we start at the top, we draw a big line down but we jump back to the top and we continue to make our letter, our little line across and our little line across. Same for all of these letters on the frog jump page. Let's say them together. F, E, D, P, B, R, 
N and M. So for these letters, you start at the top, you draw your big line down, and you frog jump back to the top to finish the letter. Two little curves. Little curve, little curve. Same for R and for all of these frog jump letters. So let's start tracing with paint and Q-tips our frog jump letters. So I'm going to use light blue. This is one of my favorite colors. My other favorite color is pink, the color of the plate. Okay, so I have paint on my Q-tip and I'm going to start with the first frog jump letter, F. Start at the top, big line down, jump back to the top, little line across, and then go to the middle, little line across. And that's my F. Let's keep going. Now I'm going to switch to the color black. I have a new Q-tip. The next frog jump letter is E. Start at the top, big line down. <laughs> jump back to the top. Little line across. Three little lines, one, two, three. And that's my E. Let's keep going. This time, I'm going to switch colors and I'm going to use dark blue. Start at the top, big line down. Oops. Jump back to the top. When you jump back to the top, you can take your Q-tip off of your paper. Now, big curve. And that's my D. I'm going to do the next letter, P, in dark blue too. So I start my letter at the top. Big line down. Jump back to the top for my little curve. I'm going to do that again. Big line down, little curve. Dark blue again. Start at the top. Big line down. Jump back to the top. Two little curves. This time I'm going to switch to the color white. Here's another Q-tip. This is the letter R. Start at the top. Big line down. Frog jump back to the top. Little curve. And keep my Q-tip on the board, I mean on the paper, to do a little line down. That little line down is diagonal. And it goes and it touches the little curve and the big line down. I'm going to use white again for my next two color, for my next two letters, N and M. Start at the top, big line down. Now I'm going to frog jump back to the top. And I keep my Q-tip on the paper for the next two lines. Big line down and big line up. All right, so again, for the N, I start at the top, and I draw a big line down. I frog jump back to the top, and I do two lines. One, two. Now one more letter on my frog jump page, M. Start at the top. Big line down. Gonna get more paint. Now I do three more lines with my 
Q-tip on the paper the whole time. One, two, three. And these are my frog jump letters made out of paint. I think that looks really nice. Now I'm going to move to the next letters in the alphabet. 